A relay is an electromechanical switch. It is necessary when, with low power available, you need to control a secondary circuit that can have a higher voltage, amperage, or even different types of current such as alternating or direct current. The drive circuit can be closed by a simple manual switch, but also by various kinds of analog or electronic equipment. The controlled circuit, on the other hand, can power any kind of electrical device, from electrical motors to light bulbs. In this video, we will show you how relays work, to understand how these small devices are essential for so much electrical equipment. JAWS, for over a decade, has been providing customers with the best solutions for their supply chain, and in their catalog, you'll find every type of relay from leading manufacturers. Let's now see how the most common relay is made. The normally open, single-pole, single-throw electromagnetic relay. As we can see, the drive circuit is connected to the electromagnet, which is composed of a solenoid coil of electrical conductor wire, usually in copper, wrapped around a core of ferromagnetic material. When the electric current passes through the electromagnet, it forms a magnetic field that attracts the armature to which the movable contactor is connected. The latter will change position, closing the controlled circuit. When the electric current of the drive circuit is interrupted, the contact returns to its open position thanks to a small spring. Very important for the protection of the components and the current operation of the relay is the presence of a flyback diode. The moment which the switch opens and the circuit is interrupted, the relay inductance will try to hold the current. Adding a diode to the circuit will create an easy path for its current to circulate until it is depleted. If you are interested in knowing how a diode works, watch our previous video. Relays can have different types of contacts. Let's see them one by one. The single pole, single throw is the one we've just seen. The relay behaves like a simple on-off switch. This type of relay can be made in the normally open or normally closed configuration. In the normally open configuration, the contacts are disconnected and they connect only when the electromagnet is energized. While in the normally closed configuration, the contacts are always connected, and when the electromagnet is energized, they disconnect. There is another version called double pole single throw. It is a type of relay that is equivalent to a single pole single contact controlled by a single electromagnet which can also be made in the normally open or normally closed variants. The single pole double throw works as a simple multi-way switch. It has a movable contactor in the common with two fixed contacts, which can be connected to either one or the other. There is also the version of single pole center off, very similar, but with the moving contact that can occupy a central position since it doesn't connect to any fixed contact. Finally, the double pole, double throw is equivalent to two single pole, single throw controlled by a single electromagnet. So far, we've seen classic electromagnetic relays made from moving components that physically change position to open slash close the contacts or break the circuit when required. A solid-state relay, by contrast, has no mechanical or moving parts, so it has the same function as electromagnetic relays without any internal physical movement. The solid-state relay is very common and consists of an opto-isolator, an electronic device that transfers a signal between two circuits while maintaining galvanic isolation between them. It is usually made by optically coupling a LED with a photosensitive element. In this way, when the LED is turned on, 
the photosensitive element detects its brightness, deciding whether to close or open the circuit. Their cost is high, but since they do not wear out, they are used where high reliability over time is required. There are many other types of relays, such as the analog switch, similar to integrated circuits. The reed relay, a type of relay where the contacts are sealed in a glass tube filled with inert gas. Mercury wetted relay, whose mobile plate is wetted with mercury, a conductive liquid metal. But the most common ones are electromagnetic relays, widely used in different fields like public lighting, in the railway sector, and especially in vehicles on headlamps, auxiliary headlamps, horns, and so on. If you are interested in vehicles, don't miss our playlist about cars engineering. Now, let's do a practical experiment. We have a single pole, double throw, relay, and we'll use it to divert the electrical current first to one bulb and then to another one. As we can see in this case, the contact arrangement is symbolized on the relay. The spiral symbol symbolizes which contacts are connected in the electromagnet and therefore which can be used for the drive circuit. Then we can notice that the two fixed contacts are placed on the opposite side. Finally, we can see that the movable contactor starts from the side pin and it continues until its rest position on the fixed contact placed on the lower right. When the coil is crossed by the electric current, the situation is reversed and the movable contactor moves to the fixed contact on the upper right. A new circuit with a battery and a switch was made on this electromagnet. To the two fixed contacts, a light bulb was connected to each one and the two circuits after passing through the battery. They both close on the pin of the movable contact. When establishing or breaking the electrical continuity of the drive circuit, the relay diverts the current to the second controlled circuit or the first respectively. Therefore, the bulbs light up alternately. If you want to find out how small electronic devices around us work, check out our playlist about the electrical world. If you found this video useful, let us know by leaving a like and a comment. You can also share it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We suggest that you visit our website, jawscompany.com, to know more about upcoming projects.